happen to think it's a really big deal. 30 years ago, Charlie Fairhead walked through those doors. You terrorise her, you degrade her. Don't you dare judge me. We both know your daughter's a vicious bully. Oh, well, I'm sorry to inform you, but your daughter's injuries were self-inflicted. It's okay, Mum. I get it now. Sometimes you have to put yourself first. Oh, it's, um, it's just Steph. She's going the same way, it doesn't matter. I, I just don't want to short her. It's over. What's she doing? <laughs> I could talk about your service, I could talk about your dedication, I could even talk about your friendship. But most importantly, it's your commitment to a job you love, a, a commitment to the NHS, a commitment to this hospital that spans no less than three decades. And quite frankly, that's nothing short of incredible. You, Charlie Fairhead, are nothing short of incredible. Congratulations on a remarkable achievement. We love you, Charlie. <laughs> come on in. No, come in, 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 Jacob Dylan, you still owe me money for the present. I already put cash in it. Yeah, me too. No, this is extra. This is for the vodka blues. What vodka blues? We found a company online that's going to recreate Charlie out of ice. Life size. Well, hang on. I don't want to pay 20 quid to drink straight vodka out of Charlie's... Out of his what? To be known to orifices. It's depending on how many to make vodka. Oh, well, Mrs. Beach, you put you in charge of organising. I really don't think this is what she had in mind. Mm, no, I was not in charge. Okay. Yes, sir? Then what am I doing? You're assisting. You're ably assisting. What about the cake? Look, the cake is ordered and en route. Just take a chill pill, lady. Do. I'd be able to if you weren't so inept. It's harsh, but fair. Come on, pay up. I've heard about the promotion. You can afford it. Yeah, king of the ED. Show us your green. Jacob, I found your agency nurse. This is Amira. Hey. What? Nothing. Uh, Robin was just telling us about her... Um, Rush. Was it? Uh, I was. Um, it'll clear up. With the antibiotics, we're hoping for a clean. That's grim. Why don't I show you round? We're a friendly bunch here, really. We tend to muck in, get things done. Triage, cubicles, and resources back down that corridor. I have worked in hospital before. Right. But not this one. And actually, uh, I don't think I'm on shift for about another seven minutes or so. Charlie, mate, huge congrats on your 30 years at Holby. Um, that's mad, mate. That's properly mad. Um, so when Noel asked me to do this, I started thinking about when we first met, how we didn't get off to the best of starts, because obviously, well, I knew everything. So, um, but what I soon came to realise, and what everyone realises in the end, is that you are very much the man, the main man, the Ayatollah, kind of. So, uh, yeah, keep doing what you do, and I hope you have a good day. Much love, mate, much love. 
for the staff room is just through there, and I'll see you in there. Well, what are you doing? Six minutes, 12 seconds. Yeah. Sorry, um, Amira, wasn't it? Jacob Masters acting up in the windows. Shut up! Shut up! No! Tell me everything! Shut up! Good luck. I hate agency stuff. They're not all bad. Listen, Charlie, um... What's on your mind? I was thinking maybe, uh... I was going to propose. You don't think you're moving a bit too fast? Yeah, probably, but... I don't know if you were, but I'm a pretty big deal around here now. And plus the fact that race is finally cool with everything. If you get a chance at happiness, you grab it with both hands. Good luck, Kate. No, maybe <laughs> she hasn't said yes yet. Touche. <laughs> Where do you want me? In recess? No, you're all right, old man. We've got it covered. You can take cubicles. Cheers. Not a formal thing later, is it? I don't know. What? Nothing. Sorry. Charlie, we knew we were safe. We knew you we were home. You were always home for me. Saving lives. Both seven? Yes, please. Oh, no. Josh, what are you doing here? I can't tell you. It's a surprise. You see, I brought in young family on the way to a wedding. Resus dripping in blood. 
No gloves. Not even a thought about Hep C or HIV. They haven't even invented penicillin by then, have they? We've come a long way, that's for sure. Yeah, full circle, I reckon. I've just been banished from recess. <laughs> a life in cubicles for me. Well, 30 years is not a bad run, is it? Had to end sometime. The day the great Charlie Farron hangs up his gloves is the day the NHS falls off a cliff. No, no, I don't like this place. I want to go home. Where do you take your grubby little pencils up and make it? Are you hard of hearing? Oh, you're born, Mitchell. No, I said I want to go home. All right, just calm down, please. Thank you. What have we got? Sally Hodge, 74. She was found collapsed in her flat by the postman. Her left leg is visibly shortened and externally rotated. She also has bruising on her abdomen and ribs, and she seems confused. I'm not confused. I want to go home. And I, I, I need to use the cloakroom. What's the cloakroom? Amira, could you get us a slipper bedpan, please? Now, Miss Hodge, you see these people? They're here to help you. By the sound of it, you've got a fractured hip. You'll need treatment. So will you please just let these people do their jobs? And who are you? My name's Charlie Fairhead. I'm a nurse here. Would you like a strawberry bonbon? Oh dear, no bonbons. Why don't you suck on those? It'll save the rest of us your unsolicited journey. Let's keep moving, please. Okay. Why are we going down here? I wanted to go home. No, I don't want to go down here. 30 years. And every day a dream. <laughs> Come on, Greg. Come on, talk to me. It's very hard. Greg, get out of the car. Greg, I'm ready to get the car. essential to have a balanced and healthy diet. Come around to cook, are you? Well, are your cards right? You never know. There's evidence of regular stability and coinage here. Also, pale conjunctiva. Combined with shortness of breath and raised heart rate. Less from FBC and simpler stimulatives. I'm going to lower the bed and have a feel for your abdomen. Oh, okay. Are you sure there are no friends or family we can contact? Someone to come and sit with you? You're a very patronizing man. I had a friend just like you once. I couldn't stand him. He's dead now, thank the Lord. So he distended. You mentioned the cloak room earlier. Does this still feel like you need to go? Like a dripping tap that doesn't break. You might still be a little shaken from the fall. Spent half my life on the latrine, back and forth. X-ray, are ready? Can we catheterize Miss Hodge when she returns? I'm not having Fairhead anywhere near my water and hole, thank you very much. No, don't worry. Louise will do that. It'll make you feel a lot more comfortable. What are you smoking at? Did we manage to find an extra kid? Nope. And no prior ED tendencies, no outpatient appointments. When I asked her about a GP, she said she wasn't registered. Okay, sounds about right. Amira, where's the bedpan? Where's the bedpan? I couldn't find one. What do you mean you couldn't find one? I don't know where they are. Did it occur to you to look in the sluice? Were you going to tell me all? I just did. You know, I said earlier about us all mucking in. Well, I meant that. If you don't start putting your weight around here, you and me are going to have a big problem. Charlie, do you want me to go get it? No, I'll do it. What? Hi, Charlie. I'm so sorry I can't be with you to celebrate your 30 years. It's such a wonderful achievement. And you're such a wonderful man. 
I could have asked for a better colleague or a better friend for all those years. You said to me once that nursing, it's not just a job, it's a vocation, it's a lifestyle, it's a calling. I'm so glad I found my calling and I'm so glad I found you. Congratulations, Charlie. I'm just nervous at the pub. It's looking quite good. How long into it you've missed the air? No, what are you talking about? After you unfolded tea, you've missed the air. Oh, uh, That's the pressure of being in charge. Probably fix that. Yes, thank you. Hey, it's a mirror, isn't it? Listen, I don't know if you know, but today's Charlie Fairhead's 30 year thing. And, Which one's Charlie? Uh, hair like an albino brillo pad. He looks like he might smell of old life books. Oh. Anyway, if you'd like to sign. Yeah. Right, cool. There's a party later, if you fancy it. I'm going. Most of us are going, it should be a laugh. I could treat you to a jug of woo woo. Or maybe something more to your time. Not... Looks like you just crashed and burned, buddy. Yeah. With a crack cup. Yeah. Should I remind you anyone? No. No, no one. Come on, give me a call, please, babe. Let me know what time you're headed back, yeah? Afternoon. This is our RTC, Stephanie Sims. Female, 37 years of age. She was hit head on by a car at approximately 40 miles an hour. On arrival, she was in PEA arrest, CPR, and intubated. Okay, across on three, please. One, two, three. She's had six milligrams of adrenaline, one litre of saline, and we've now got a return of circulation. You are happy with the uh, RPO, are you? I am, yeah. If it's bilateral error entry. What did you say, Nemos? Stephanie Sims. Yeah. What, what, guys, watch where you're going. Yeah, same to you, no? Huh? Yeah, no, look at her. She'll turn you to stone. Immature, guys. Got it, it's me. Right. Let me see you get this. Guys, what happened to me? Well, it looks like she's stopped for something. She stepped out of the car and whack. Her hazard lights were on when we got there. So what, she broke down? Well, to me, it looked like she'd been clipped because there was damage right down the side of her car. And, uh, the window was smashed. Damaged the her car? Mm-hmm. But that doesn't make any sense. What well What is it? Jacob? Stephanie, we sussed that she's in a bad way. You can answer on your phone, where are you? You need to call me as soon as you get this. Wait, need to ask control if we can head back out. Then do it. You're probably going to be worried about nothing. Look, uh, I'm coming with you. Look, if you can find anything, we'll let you know. I'll pay it with it, team. I'm coming with you. Come on, let's Is there someone who comes into the flat to help out? Do you manage to care that much? Now, what would I go out for? Oh, I don't know. A breath of fresh air, trip to the shops. It's good to get out and about. I'd love to pop a cork in that cake hole. The X-ray's back, and it confirms a fractured neck of femur. I'm going to call down the bone specialist and see what the best course of action is. Will I be needing an operation? I'm afraid so. Your blood's also confirmed that you're anemic, so you need some iron tablets. But our priority at the moment is your fractured hip. No, 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 but I feel a lot better now. Can I not just go? Would you say you feel more comfortable since the catheter went in? Was there much residual urine when she was catheterized? Not really. Three pluses of blood on the dip test. I've sent off a CSU. I'm going to have another feel for your flank. <sighs> you may have a urinary tract infection. Charlie, can I borrow you, please? Take him, he's getting on my wick. You know, talking to her, I'm pretty sure she hasn't been out of that flat in a long time. And I'm thinking years. Did you sell injury? He was a recluse. Hang on. Look here, we just caught the edge of it next to the ureter. What is it? Could be a stercolon calculus. Kidney stones. Let's run KUB x to confirm. That's that stuff. Yep. See the whole side of it was scraped away. Why were you thinking? Mate, do it. Mm -hmm. Keep calm and carry on. Dig for victory. Hey? No idea. Listen, people are going to start coming off work in a minute and they'll leave Marston over to the pub. Right, I'll crack on with that then. You're right, mate. You're right. Yeah, no. Look, have you ever tried to change your dinner? <laughs> yeah, might have. Mate, they're brutal. I'm going to stop you there. There's really nothing more boring than hearing about someone else's hangover. <laughs> yeah, try this thing. I am. You going? Yeah, everyone's going. It's going to be a lot. Right. I'll tell you what, if I'm here in 30 years, you have permission to shoot me in the head. 
Buddy! Jacob, this is madness, mate. You don't even know she's been out. Buddy! Buddy! I need a second with Major RTC, one female phone from the vehicle. The second casualty is yet unlocated. Potential serious injury due to NY. Request medical team on site. B4525 near the book went to Over. Oh, Buddy! 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 Okay, we're gonna be okay, we're gonna be okay. This place. Honey, honey, this place. This isn't it. Sally Hodges X-ray. What's that? If I told you what I think it might be, I'm not sure you believe me. Don't be easy. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I got it. We'll send someone. Thank you. Uh, Major RTC, they're requesting a medical team. Would you be okay to go? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Dylan. Yes. It's Mrs. Beecham. What do you mean, it's Mrs. Beecham? The RTC. Polly Beecham was thrown from the vehicle and Grease is their team. Right, right. Until we understand exactly what we're dealing with, this is need to know. Just the resus team, agreed? Please. Well, then get him out of his meeting. There's no way that's what you think it is. The radiologists seem to agree. Aren't they, like, ridiculously rare? Mm. Yeah, a few hundred in all medical history. It's so freaky. It's not my first. Oh, really? Mr. Fairhead. We've seen a lot of things over the years, me and you. Too many things, you could say. But that's what happens, I guess, when you've been around as long as we have, old fossils that we are. But that experience, that consistency of care, that body of knowledge, well, that means something. So here's to another 30 years. Sally, have you ever been pregnant? Well, I'm not pregnant. Not now, in the past. Have you ever been pregnant? Why does it matter? It's very important. Yes, when I was a teenager. But I miscarried. The X-ray confirmed the presence of what is known as lithopedian. More commonly known as calcified or stone baby. When you miscarried, your body didn't do so in the traditional sense. The fetus would have died during an abdominal pregnancy, too large to be reabsorbed by the body, and it was calcified to prevent infection. We... My baby is still inside me. It would have died many, many years ago. Oh! We'll take you to theatre now to have it removed. Do you have any questions you'd like to ask? This would probably explain why you've had problems going to the loo. And now that we know, we can fix it. I'll be back with the surgeon. Hmm. Listen to me. Listen to me. No, I don't care. We need to get you to the hospital. All right? Jacob. 
She's not here. Where is she here? There's no one in the car. So where the hell is she? Some breath sounds on left. Three zero zero six four. The control. I need to request helimed if available. Over. Check it. We found her. We got place. It didn't look like she's stable. 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 Good. I don't know what she looks like, do I? That's the point of a blind date. This is one of Kirsty's friends. Kirsty. Look at teeth. Yeah. I go go. Mine is shut, I gotta go. Bob, well, speak to you later. Zip is by, it's fine. Try it. What's taking so long? Listen to me. <laughs> Okay. No. Right, she's got to do herself more harm. Yeah, it's stressful. Thought you were getting. No. She's in pain and distress. Mm -hmm. Rest is stable. This is for our Please. Do you want to do it or should I? Well, I don't think it does it. Sorry. Please, please don't put me under. Please. The longer that we spend with you, the less time that we get with Grace. Okay. Please don't but do you it. You have to let us do our job. Yeah, you understand me. Just gonna feel a little scratch. Just a precaution. Make you feel nice and comfortable. Five milligrams of morphine. BP one ten systolic. Pulse ninety. Sats ninety six percent. Right. Let's get her out of here. Three zero zero six to control. I need an ETA on that air ambulance. Over. She can't go up in a helicopter with a pneumo. I know. Dylan, I need you over here, mate. Okay, keep pushing the fluid. I'm coming with you. You said it was life size. Is that supposed to be Charlie? When I had figurines bigger than that. It looks more like morph to me. Do you think we'll have to give people their money back? Such an idiot. Cake's arrived. Oh, great. How's it looking? Sure, Lady Lou, that's what you said. We can fix it. <laughs> It's too late for that. Well, people's... It's not funny. I know. Why are you laughing? No, it's just... You literally couldn't organise it in a pub. You'll be fine. Come on, grab me a knife. We can sort this out. Sorry, I uh I told the doctor I'd miscarried, but that wasn't true. I was a sinner. I had sinned, so it... I tried to fix it myself. Did anyone know? Well, the sisters found out right enough. But by then it was too late. I, I committed a terrible crime. 
I was only a young girl. But it was like time stopped for me right there. I'm so sorry. It was a different world back then. Not so different. Abortion's still illegal in many countries. Well, shame on them. And shame on me. You've got nothing to be ashamed about. This sort of thing, you know, there are people you can talk to. Talking never got anybody anywhere. You've been going ten to the dozen ever since I got here, and all you've done is give me earache. I thought I'd lost my baby. And all the time... But now, time, I mean, maybe it could start again. Oh, she took off talk some gobble. But you're a good man, Charlie. Sorry to interrupt. Can I worry you? You might want to change. Oh, is this your surprise party everybody's talking about? Support. And answer your phone. I've got more important things to be doing than this. Yeah, yeah, well, good for you. Why are you leaving presents on the doorstep by some, some creepy, screwed up Father Christmas? He's my son. He's got enough. Yeah, because you buy him. Then what about me? You can't afford to waste money buying presents. Look at where you live. You're pathetic. What can I say? You have that effect on women. Just leave us alone. What are you looking at? Mom! She has got a pneumothorax. I think she's got a flailed chest. On the other side? Yeah, amazingly so. All right, Chris. Darling, you're doing really well. Just keep looking at me, sweetheart. That's it. Okay, I need the, I need the portable kit. I got it. Okay, Grace. Nice and calm, sweetheart. Good girl. I will act surprised. I promise. Scouts on it. Amira, any chance you can stay on for a couple of hours at the end of your shift? Looks like we're going to be a nurse down. Rather die. That'd be a no then, eh? Curious, isn't she? Isn't she? Alright, George Best. Just nice to have a night off, mate. Sam. Yeah. How's life upstairs? I'm good. Yeah, can't complain. Things alright? Yeah, awesome. Uh, can I get another one of those and the uh, job? Yeah, same. Yeah, Thanks. Right. Listen, everybody, get down! Get down! Get the lights! Seriously, you're like a superwoman or a Batwoman. No, Batwoman, that's it. You know, Grace, I've got a blind date later. Bit nervous about it, to be honest. Uh, Ain't it? That's what didn't go too well. Straight to the toilet never came back. I'm with my mum. Grace, right, she's gone to the hospital and we're going to go there very soon, OK? I'm going to come with you. You're not going to be on your own, all right? I'm going to speak. I'm going to speak to her. I'm sounding a bit better. Oh, look, Grace, I've got an idea. Why don't we leave her a little message, eh? Ladies and gentlemen, they push. Thank you. 1986, the year that Gary Lineker became the most expensive British footballer ever in a 2.75 million move from Everton to FC Barcelona. 1986, the year the M25 was completed. 
1986, the year that Mike Tyson became the youngest heavyweight champion in history. 1986, the year a fresh-faced, fancy head nurse entered Auburn City Hospital, A&E. Oh. Hey, nothing No, Fletch, unfortunately, it's not on the boat. It's Years, ladies and gents, 30 years. And have in mind, we put together a little something for you. Let's take a little journey. Come on. That's it. So, I'll push that, folks. There's a slight technical glitch. No one's called, by the way. Let's just mix each other. Let's just mix each other. Well, at least if, uh, the medicine thing doesn't pan out, you've always got the children's entertainment. Oh, what, you don't think I'm cut out to be a doctor? Or... No. No, no, no. no. <laughs> no. I, I didn't mean that. Sorry, what did you mean? I was talking about the, uh, the, the, ah, the puppet. Oh. Thing. I... I'm going to get a drink. Yeah. Anyway. Two for one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Seriously. Uh, so, uh, new jeans? Uh, yes. Did you spray them on, or what's wrong with them? No, it's just like I think I can see a bit leaf now. Oh. So. I'm not in the mood. Oh. All right, listen. If you want to get a leash on the sank, you could be smart about it. Match your emotions. She's spiky, you're spiky back. She's vulnerable, you're vulnerable. She's horny, you're horny. It'd be great if just once you weren't so childish. That, that's sound advice, Ethan. And we're back in business! Studio, run BC. <laughs> It's your birthday. What's that to that? It's your birthday. Well, it's a, it's a birthday of sorts uh, because uh, I'm reliably informed that it's 10,950 days of loyal service. So, uh, from us, um, the staff, and from all the patients that you've helped over the years, we just want to say a big heartfelt thank you to Charlie. Let it be old years and I sing you a song. I will try not to sing out of the from a full recovery. The mass was pressing onto her bladder, which was causing quite a bit of discomfort. I've contacted social services already, just in case if she's... Well, uh, Lily, that's, that's great news. <laughs> but uh, I'm kind of in the middle of something, yeah? Yes, sorry. Congratulations. Lily! <laughs> See, I still remember my surprise party when I left, and I swear that sucker aged me like ten years. Thing is, though, I had ten years to spare. I'm not sure you do. <laughs> Seriously though, I'm made up for you, old muck, I really am. What you should do tonight is get on the whiskies and get on the cigars because you deserve it. Cheers, man. I'm calling it a night. Yeah, that's probably wise. 
Yeah, I'll drive there, yeah? No, I'm gonna get a cab. Good. Charlie, you're amazing. You were such a good friend to me. And mentor and... Well, I can't really imagine that place without you. I just want to say thank you for everything that you did for me. All the support you gave. You made me the nurse that I am today. Charlie, uh, yeah, uh, I just wanted to say... Um, you've always been there for me. Whether I asked you to be or not. <laughs> always hang around. Um, seriously, uh, you've helped me through some tough times, and um, been there for the good ones too. So I just wanted to say, I'm proud to call you a mate. Congratulations on your dirty thirty. Will you get the camera away from me, please? Uh, will you stop filming me. trauma scan and let's get a cross mesh right away please. I've got the blood. Um, Jacob Lowe, Bex. Okay, let's get that trauma scan now please. Uh, I've no. DCS of 15. I have no neurology. No, I have all range of movements. Okay, get the collar off. This isn't a good Do idea. Do it. It's not a good idea. It's Grace that needs help. Where is she? Why is she not here? All right, Mrs. Beecham, stop. Can you tell me, Charlie? All right, there are far too many people in here outside, please. No, no, I'm, I'm more used here. Tony, I need you. I need Carmen in here, outside, all of you, please. For now, thank you. Then why did you call me over? Stop the gardener's call. I need you to tell me that Stephanie Sims is out here. Mm. Um, Charlie, is she going to be okay? I don't know. What about Grace? She's on her way in the air ambulance. Sorry, Charlie, I just wanted to say... Not now. No, I want to no, say... I said not now. I'm trying to apologise, you sanctimonious old man. All right, that's enough. Any time you left... Yeah, couldn't agree more. So go, get out. I mean, you are the best, mate, and you expect the best. Professional, passionate and fair. That's what I think of when I hear your name, Charlie Fairhead. And when they called me to say you're celebrating 30 years, I thought, wow, it's got to be more like 50. You look old, mate, to be honest. <laughs> Top banana. Keep in touch. Where is everyone? Um, I think you'd better take a seat. Yeah, I'm telling you now. I'm not going to see it here until I see my daughter. No. It's my final answer. Do whatever you need to do here, a chest x-ray or whatever's going to shut you up. Right, let's get an x-ray. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to know where my daughter is. Look, she's in the helicopter and she'll be here soon, all right?
Where is everyone? The dressing's striking. So, uh, can you just stay still for me, please? Yeah. Please, it's please, taking Mr. too long. Mrs. Peach, no, you need a pressure dressing. Yeah. It's Grace. They have a pulse. The helicopter crashed. They're looking after her. They're bringing her in. Jacob is bringing her in. Let me remind you, you've been in a high-impact RTC. Ejected from the vehicle. You've just located your shoulder. Leave a bit for me. Let the tree knocked out. You're lucky to be alive. Move out of my way. No. Charlie? Yes. Is Grace with her? Yes, she is. Jacob's with her. She's got a pulse. Yeah. You okay? You okay? Gotta get that checked out. Fine, just start helping out. Stay with Is she stuck there, Jacob? We need to cut her out. Josh, put this off. Uh, get her out of there as quickly as you can, please. We need to close this department. No, 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 we can't close. We've got to get her in there. All right, well, I trust you'll do what's necessary. Thank you. Dear Mr. Hans, on your first day at this hospital, I'm sure you have enough people filling your head with their philosophies and politics and what should or shouldn't happen with the state of this place. So, I'll keep this short. Look after my staff, and I'll take care of the rest for you. Good luck in the fight ahead. Yours sincerely, Charge Nurse Charlie Fairhead. Thank you. Nice and slowly, go easily. We close it. Apart from Connie and Grace, no more admissions. I have to let everybody inside, though. Most of our lot won't have seen anything like this. Charlie. What? What do you need me to do? Can you take it inside? Yes. 
Releasing the pressure on the vacuum mattress. Uh, okay, that's working. Yeah, it's working. Let's get up. Are you feeling the leash? Have you seen them? No, we're closing the ED. Take this. We're closing? Closing, apart from Connie and Grace. Divert all ambulances. All miners go. Shut reception. Take admin. Oh, and we'll need to access the major incident cupboard. Dylan, L, yes sir. Have you got that? Right. Okay. Right, that's it. Uh, keep moving, people. To the left, please. Keep moving. Hey, agency. Where are you going? Straight that way, then. Outside, I'm coming in. Yes, so am I. Oh, no, no. And only both of you. Make sure the department's clear. Get this transferred onto an on the wall, see what Charlie, call me Carmel. Yeah. Yeah, we need to see if this is solid. Mm. Is the. Great. This, 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 no, 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 no. This is the, the vessel's been tied up, but we need yeah. to close the wall. No, no, I have an ulterior bleed. I need yeah. to sew this up. No, Connie, please. Morning. Mrs. Beecham, you need to listen to your team, please. No, I need to see my daughter. Dr. Gardner, get this sorted. We're closing and I need you to leave. Dr. Gardner, stop the This is the wound. Please stop. Come on, Dr. Gardner. Come on, Dr. Let me through. Let me do it. Connie, you can't be in here. Let her through. Do you have a chance to search for me? Frail chest and pneumothorax on the opposite side. No, everything. Connie, I really don't. Everything. Grace Beecham, 10 years old. Involved in a high speed RTC which left the road and fell into a ravine. Patient ejected from vehicle. Flail segment on the right chest wall and a pneumothorax on the left. Size 26 left intercostal brain inserted on scene. Transferred by air ambulance which crashed. Patients sustain new head injuries. Extensive soft tissue contusion. GCS between 10 and 13. Pulse 120. Respirate 30, SAS 96%. No further treatment given so far following the second incident. Either way, you need help. So here's your choice. You either let us through and we have this out afterwards, or I knock your teeth out in front of everyone and we're another nurse down. <laughs> he needs a nebulizer. This way. Please? What did I say about not letting anyone in? My patient, my rules. <laughs> When you saw my major concern, I want to get your head scanned. Yeah, my job is to help people. I've got a crew out there depending on me. If you came down in a helicopter crash, just left however many dead, and then let go fighting for her life. Pretty mad, isn't it? Lily, I really need your help over here. Stay there. 
چه سبب این شوهرش شد؟
Carl says that's why I got into medicine. To learn how to fix myself. You know, um, when I was younger, I, uh, I used to have a bit of a stammer. Carl rid me about it so much that I wouldn't speak for days. Well, not to any people, anyway. I locked myself in my room, and I used to pretend that my toys were sick, and then I would mend them. I ran a sort of health clinic. <laughs> well, um, Cal and his friends, they found out, and they stole the medical notes that I'd written. Things like, Teddy had a poorly tummy, and Mr. Elephant had uh, mucus in his trunk, and, um, and then, of course, nibbles. Uh, for some reason, I had dolls as well, and... Sally Strawberry had sore nibbles. Sore nibbles? Yes, I was six. I spelled everything phonetically. That's why Cal calls me nibbles. You didn't know that. Okay. Right. Who's still okay? Oh, I don't know why I just told you that. They thought it was hilarious, but actually, when you hear it out loud, it's really not. Funny! Ah! Uh, uh. Right, I'll see if you can stand. Uh, I can crawl, maybe. Yeah. Thank you. Hold on a sec. Connie? I'm fine, I was just thinking to oh. Okay, let's get the drip reattached then, please. We have two units of own egg, FBCs and clotting, and three units on the first one. Connie, you're bleeding internally, so we need to find out where that's coming from, all right? Um, um, don't touch me. All right, enough of this. Don't touch me. Colleen, you're shocked and you're bleeding. Let's go back to the start, ABC. She has to do as we say. Uh. Colleen, are you in pain? Oh, my asthma. Yeah, you're guarding a little bit. Fast hand, thank you. She needs free fluid in the arm. Uh. Looks like she's uh. torn her liver. Uh. I don't want to push too hard. I've got bone fragments around the fracture. Are you okay with the 28? I have the 26 on standby, just in case. Sats are dropping rapidly. You reckon? Massive in the thorax. Not now. At the boy I brought in. This really isn't the time. I, it's just... Here, it. take some water. Nearly there, Grace. Okay, I'm in. Oh. Right. <laughs> Good, girl. One, two, three. Can you reach me? Yes. Someone's in there. He's there. He's us. Yeah, Carl. We're in here. We're both fine. Okay. Five crews have you out in no time. Don't worry. It's got to be worth one. That's not a good idea. Okay, coming in. Do you think it's some sort of game? What are you even doing? See what you mean, mate. Okay, okay, I'll go. Alright. Whoa, whoa, careful, Carl, Carl. Please, seriously. Okay? Yeah? He's disappeared in the teller. What? That's it? And some cuts. Hey, well, you guys are just blessed, aren't you? Well, thanks for coming. Must do your best. He's on This could have been prevented. That's not important, no. I shouldn't have listened to her, but she said she was going to be alright. We're all guilty enough. No, 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 no. This is on me. It's okay, I've got you, babe. Off you. Grace, is she? They're with her, and we'll know more when she's been with you. You should stay. Look after Grace. We'll keep you informed, okay? Uh... She's right. Grace needs you more than anyone else right now. See you, my child. Alec will go. Something has to be done. And it will be. Whatever can be done, will be. You don't understand, Charlie. I promised that she was going to be all right. I, I promised that I'd make her safe. Do you understand? No, Mr. Blaine. Hi. Hello. Little girl. I'm so sorry. I found a radiologist. We can scan her now. Right now? Nice. Do you want me to call an anaesthetist? Should we...? Uh, no. She's supporting her own airway. No need to intubate. Let's go. Jacob. Get her to CT. Any problems, you know where I am. 
I just wanted to apologise. Apologise? I drone. It was a present. I flew it up it, the helicopter. Well, you, you, you caused this. You caused it. Get her out of here. You see her? That's your fault. You see her? That's your fault. No, We all are. This place is going downhill fast. Nobody knows that better than me. But somehow it manages to cling on because all of these people, each and every one of them, performs together as a unit. Now you might want to ditch your ego and join us and try remembering why you're here in the first place. That's the only way you're going to help. You better get out of my wheel, man. Now. You're going to have to go through me. Me too. And me. Jacob. It's all in the name, isn't it? Charlie, call that name and then you've got a, a guardian angel by your side. An unflappable guardian angel. Rule number one in the NHS Survival Handbook, always make sure you have a Charlie Fairhead. I know I always did. I could have taken it. Definitely. Without a doubt. Just so we're clear. It's your party. Place is not back yet, then. They must have finished the scan by now. There is nothing worse. Everybody knows that. Charlie knows that. Everybody knows that. But I know you. And I know that if you don't let this out now, right now, it will build and build and someone else will suffer. Something else will suffer. So, Jacob, let go. I'm going to lose the day. I'm going to lose it all. It's okay. Yeah, yeah, drain's fine, this stuff. Arrow cross. This has got to be a head injury. No time for that. 
Yeah, press suction, suction, please. We'll draw it to the other side. It's going to be tricky. She might have asked you. She's getting a little fist. Do you want me to do this? No. I'll do it. Let's get some drugs in. Five milligrams of pentone, 50 milligrams of sucks. Cry boys on. In. Well, you better hurry up. This is one patient we can't afford to be hypoxic. You're doing okay. Should try a small size tube. Yeah, 6.5. Oh, come on. Sats are dropping. Do you need my help? In. Position's fine. Cry quite off. Sats are improving. Well done. I have to go. We can get changed. I thought I'd treat you. Your scans were NED. No significant head injury. Just look at him, I guess. Yeah, he looks that way. No one finds these easy. Like none of us. Sorry to break up the pyjama party. I need some more checks. Grace, they pulled her through. Hey, Mrs. Beecham? Uh, she's still in theatre. How are you doing? He's fine. Just glad it's over. Seems perverse. Doesn't it? Well, the only way to clear the department is with a catastrophic helicopter crash. Yeah. I didn't realise we had so many seats. Ladies and gentlemen, can I have your attention for a minute? Look, I know this has been, well, what can I say? I just hope you don't have too many days like this again in the future in your careers. But this is far from over, and we can't run away from that fact. So we, the old guard, are going to stop on until it's done. And our lot are all safe. Now, if you need to go home, you have to consider that to be your absolute right to do that. Uh, believe me, 30 years in this place, the only thing that hasn't changed is the amount of work that the staff put in. Nobody appreciates that more than I do. But Grace and Connie depend on us from now on. So, whether it's tonight or when you come back in tomorrow... Charlie, I'm going to stay until we know. Yeah, I'm in. Yeah, I'd like to stay, definitely. There's loads of food over at the pub. We could bring it over. Also, alcohol, if people need. I only came for the cake. Shut up. Dylan, mm. um, the intubation, I really did think yeah. that... No, 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 I know, I know you did. Yeah, man, you did great today. You should, you should be proud. If what you're saying is true, then... Just wait. He's been waiting for you. Sorry, we've it's got It's my fault. I've got to look at work. No, he takes some responsibility. No, I wasn't one we left him in the house. I'm sorry. Yeah, because that's what he said. That's exactly. Sorry. Hey. I nearly killed that little girl. The police will want to speak to him. When you're ready. The girl. Grace. Will someone let me know? Yeah. The callers. Of course, we'll let you know. I suppose you get used to it eventually. It's the sort of thing they expect you to deal with anyway. Powers that be have the way will be asked to make use of it. Convert it into beds. Powers that be? Listen to him one shift and he's all stick it to the man again. It's the jacket. What can I say? It never leaves you. Charlie. Yeah. Grace has just gone up. We're waiting on Connie. Uh, listen, over the road earlier, what I said. Oh, it's fine. This is... He's just a child. It's like your old hematoma. The neurosurgeons are taking you to theatre and I'm going to go and oversee it myself. Chances? 
Let's see if I can do it. I've been looking everywhere for you. Charlie, I, I'm so sorry, but... We've got Grace's scans back. Now when Colleen wakes up, it's your face she needs to see. You're going to have to tell her that Grace might not be all right. Hey, I'll, I'll cut you off. Yeah. I took your advice. That fired spectacularly. What's that? Shared leash on my vulnerable side. She thinks I'm some sort of basket case. Yeah, because women often stand and stare adoringly at potential basket cases. It's <laughs> one that go before she realizes it's true. Ethan, what? What did you say that was so vulnerable anyway? I suppose you remember me, Charlie, but I get the feeling that you might remember my daughter, Jenny. That you're the sort of person that remembers all the people that you have an effect on. All the people that you and your, your wonderful staff manage to somehow fix up and make better. And sometimes, like with Jenny, sometimes just sit with, through the, through the toughest of times, just by... Showing kindness. It's, it's hard to find the words to describe our, our gratitude to you, knowing what you're all up against every day. But I suppose what I hope you realise is that there's so many of us, so many families like us that will always remember what you did for us. You'll always be part of our lives as that nurse. You know, the one. Here's to more like you. So, where to now? Wherever the shift takes me. The money must be good. Something like that. You two. With me. Cake to be eaten. I should get off. Come on. Just five minutes. For me. It in. Turns out it suits you. Went out very well with this lot. So, just know it's an option. This place clings on because everyone works as a unit. Yet certain occasions call for certain people. 
Happy anniversary, Charlie.